Do you know how safe the cruise ports are that you will be visiting? Anytime you're going to be cruising to a new destination, it is important to know a little bit about the danger levels and what you need to be on the lookout for. And when cruising, there are some ports that can be a little sketchy if you're not aware and you go to the wrong areas. This video will be focusing on the top seven ports frequently traveled to from the US that are rated to be the most dangerous. And I'm gonna get you the information fast, coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into this, the seven most dangerous cruise ports near the US. These are not ranked in any way. They are based upon available crime statistic data along with information from the US State Department. These are rated the worst in terms of safety risk. I also wanna note that these are not ports to be afraid of or to avoid, you just need to have the information. The port countries I am about to mention have increased risk just as there are some dangerous areas and cities in the US. So as you cruise, just be aware of that and use knowledge as a reminder to take appropriate precautions. The first cruise port on the list involves the country of Belize. Belize is located on the eastern coast of Central America and its shorelines are along the Caribbean Sea. Last year, more than 615,000 cruise passengers visited the country. The U.S. State Department currently has a city where cruise ships visit listed with a Level 3 travel advisory. This is for Belize City and Level 3 means to reconsider travel. Belize City is a very sketchy area. And the U.S. State Department notes that, quote, U.S. citizens should avoid traveling to Belize City. It also notes that the danger is due to gang activity. Now know that the port area that you arrive at, it is secure. And you are going to be fine if you remain in the port area to shop and browse around. But you do not want to wander off into Belize City on your own. Now for some personal notes, here are the three best options for visiting Belize by cruise ship. One option would be to coordinate an excursion through your cruise line. We have done that and it is safe and it is great. The second option would be to stay in the port area to browse and shop. Or the third option would be to just stay on the cruise ship. The second cruise port on the list involves the country of Jamaica. Jamaica is a Caribbean island nation located just south of Cuba. More than 1.6 million cruise passengers visited Jamaica last year, so there is a lot of cruise traffic going to Jamaica. Now, the U.S. State Department currently has Jamaica listed with a Level 3 travel advisory, which means to reconsider travel. And they have issued frequent alerts regarding Jamaica due to crime in the country. In fact, U.S. government personnel are prohibited from traveling to many areas of Jamaica due to the lack of stability. Crime rates are high, murder rates are among the highest in the Western Hemisphere, police presence is weak, and the U.S. State Department has warned that sexual assault occurs frequently even at all-inclusive resorts. Let's talk about cruise ports in Jamaica. Jamaica has five different cruise ports. You can see them here depicted on this map. And Jamaica is very sketchy. My family has spent a lot of time there, just as we have in Belize, and Jamaica should be treated very much the same way. Port areas are generally secure, but you want to be very careful wandering away from the port areas on your own. And it would definitely be a cruise destination that you would be better to consider booking an excursion through the cruise line versus booking independently on your own. The third location on the list involves the country of Mexico. Now, many cruise ports in Mexico are great and they are very safe, but others can be a bit more treacherous. And one of those that I want to highlight is Mazatlan. Mazatlan is located on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Last year, nearly 400,000 cruise passengers visited Mazatlan, but very important to know the area of Mexico where this port is located is listed by the U.S. State Department as a level four travel advisory, which means to do not travel. Now, obviously, the cruise lines would not risk your safety or their liability to take you there if it was overly risky. However, again, this is something you need to be aware of. The detailed information issued by the State Department warns of violent crime and kidnapping. Many of our friends who cruise from the West Coast, they have visited this port many times and they love Mazatlan, but they also proceed very wisely. This is definitely a location where you are better to stay in the port area, listen to any guidance given by the cruise line, and generally plan to book any excursion you want to do through the cruise line and not on your own. The fourth location on the list involves the country of Haiti. Haiti is a Caribbean country that shares an island with the Dominican Republic, and there can be over 700,000 cruise visitors to Haiti every year. But Haiti has some big problems, very unsafe. The U.S. State Department currently has Haiti listed as a level four travel advisory, which means do not travel. 
kidnapping crimes, civil unrest. It is just bad, not very safe at all. I have personally spent a fair amount of time in Haiti and it is rough. However, I must say with this one, the cruise port is a bit different. The cruise port here is Lobbity and it is operated by Royal Caribbean and it is completely separate from the main area of Haiti. Lobbity is nice, it is safe, no problems there. So for personal notes, Know that if you're on a cruise that visits Lobbity, Haiti, you will not be wandering off through the country of Haiti on your own, and at the current time, that is not something that would be in your best interest to do anyway. Okay, I have several more of the most dangerous cruise ports to share with you, but quick question, chime in below. What is the sketchiest cruise port that you have ever cruised to? Chime in down below with that information. That will be great input for everyone to read, but now on with the cruise information. The fifth location on the list involves Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago is the southernmost island country in the Caribbean and it is situated off the coast of Venezuela. Each year more than 125,000 cruise passengers visit the island nation. And it can be a dangerous place. The U.S. State Department currently has Trinidad and Tobago listed as a level 3 travel advisory which means to reconsider travel. And that advisory is due to crime. In fact, the State Department goes on to say, quote, exercise increased caution in Trinidad and Tobago due to terrorism and kidnapping. It warns that much of the violence is due to gang activity and U.S. government personnel are prohibited from going to many areas. And the State Department warns of the terrorism threat saying, quote, terrorists may attack with little or no warning targeting tourist locations. So just be aware if you are cruising to Trinidad and Tobago. The sixth cruise destination on the list involves the country of Colombia. Colombia is a South American country that has Caribbean sea coastlines to its north and the Pacific Ocean to its west. Last year, more than 170,000 cruise passengers visited the country. Colombia has long had a reputation for being a dangerous nation. Most of this is tied to its historic involvement in drug trafficking. The U.S. State Department currently has Colombia listed with a Level 3 travel advisory, which means to reconsider travel. The State Department warns of crime, terrorism, unrest, and kidnapping. If you cruise to Colombia, be very cautious. And for the seventh location on the list, let's talk about cruise ports in the country of Honduras. Honduras is a Central American country that has Caribbean Sea coastlines to its north and the Pacific Ocean to its south. Last year, more than one million cruise passengers visited Honduras. And it is personally one of my family's favorite places to go. Now, the U.S. State Department currently has Honduras listed with a Level 3 travel advisory, which means to reconsider travel. Now, in this instance, I believe the primary cruise ports have got swept into consideration with the whole country. Most cruise ships go to the port of Roatan or Mahogany Bay, which are actually on an island in the Caribbean off the coast of the mainland. The crime rates in Roatan seem to be low, better than many U.S. cities, and the police presence in Roatan is high. Personally, I feel very safe in Roatan. However, given that the State Department does have this advisory out noting the danger in the country, it is something to be aware of. Be wise in what you do and keep your head on a swivel always. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.